Hi friends, thank you so much for hopping on for story time today. I will be reading to you Animal Strike at the Zoo. It's true. This book is written by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Margaret Spangler. I'm reading this with the kind permission of Harper Collins Publishing. Let's get started. Oh, he's already holding up a sign. I quit. There's an animal strike at the zoo. It's true. The headlines are telling it all. The animals quit. That's it. We're through, say all critters from biggest to small. Look, the elephants say no more peanuts. That's it. They quit. We're through, say the penguins. We're paid only peanuts, the elephants shout. And goodness, we're bigger than that. So now they won't trumpet or lumber about. They sit in the shade looking fat. They just don't want to do anything. The monkeys won't monkey around anymore. You won't see us climbing again. They wallow like big monkey lumps on the floor. We want a nice pool in our pen. The leopards aren't prowling. The wolf packs aren't howling. The tigers aren't growling. The otters are scowling. Egad, the worst has come true. There's an animal strike at the zoo. The zebras are looking like horses today. They painted their stripes in, you see. We're all sick and tired of eating this hay. Our good looks do not come for free. Those silly giraffes are not any better. You won't see our necks anymore. They're knitting themselves lots of turtleneck sweaters, which go from their heads to the floor. Business these days is as slow as can be. Folks go to the circus instead. Nobody wants to pay money to see the animals lying in bed. The lions aren't roaring. The eagles aren't soaring. The penguins are snoring. It's all rather boring. What can the zookeeper do? There's an animal strike at the zoo. He really is doing the best that he can. The elephants all got a raise. Instead of just peanuts, they now eat pecans, and he offered them six-hour days. The monkeys were given a small kiddie pool, and he's feeding the zebras sweet oats. But the monkeys complain that the water is cool, and the zebras demand root beer floats. Then, in through the gate, walks sweet little Sue. She just can't believe that she's here. She's always wanted to come to the zoo and she's begged for this trip for a year. But no birdies are peeping, no lizards are creeping, no bunnies are leaping. Then poor Sue starts weeping. Her heart is broken in two by the animal strike at the zoo. As tears start to streak down her cute rosy face, the animals watch that wee child. A deep hush of sadness falls over the place. And then they go totally wild with roaring and peeping and howling and growling. All critters from biggest to small start soaring and creeping and leaping and prowling. Then little Sue laughs at them all. And all of the animals find out that day, they actually like what they do. The zookeeper calls the reporters to say, hooray, no more strike at the zoo. But the bear at the circus won't pedal his bike. Uh-oh, he says he's on strike. Uh-oh. Looks like there might be a strike at the circus next. Thank you for hopping on for story time today. And make sure to jump on YouTube 
um, next week. I will have your next craft ready. We'll be making some pretty rainbow fish mobiles and um, also another story. So until then, my friends, always be safe, stay healthy, and be kind.